Are you considering Arden 15 for your Bermuda grass lawn? If so, you found the right video. Coming up, I give you an update of how Arden 15 is working in my Bermuda grass lawn overseeding project. Let's get into it. Hey YouTube, Ron here with season five of Project Golf Course Lawn. So now let's talk about my overseeding project. A little bit of history. It's been two weeks since I uh, overseeded with Arden 15 on my entire lawn. If you're interested in seeing the process of how I put the seed down, check out uh, the card here and I'll, I'll put a link to that so you guys can see um, my process for doing that. It's a little bit different than just throwing the seed down and I've gotten really good results with it. So if you're interested in how to apply uh, you know, Bermuda grass lawn seed, in particular Arden 15, uh, check that video out. So now here's the thing with my lawn. It's been two weeks since I put the Arden 15 down um, and I wanted to overseed this year because it's been uh, two seasons since I last did it. So again, a little bit of history. It's been two weeks since I, since I put the seed down and this lawn um, is in, in its base is Tiffway 419. So it started out as Tiffway 419 when the builder put the lawn down, put the sod down um, five years ago. And three years ago, I decided it was the, the time when I took the first step to overseed with, um, at the time, a cultivar called Princess 77. Arden 15 is the new version of Princess, 7, Princess 77. If you try and find Princess 77 now, um, you might find some, a few remnants here and there, but pretty much um, any, any videos that you see that where people are talking about Princess 77, really now the seed you really want is Arden 15. It's like the new and great, new greatest and latest version of uh, the Princess 77 cultivar. Now, Tiffway 419 is a pretty good cultivar. It's a good, it's, it greens up early. Um, it's, a, it's a great, um, you know, great Bermuda uh, type. Um, and most of the, the, the yards in this neighborhood are put down with Tiffway 419 to start. Um, I went with um, Princess 77 and now Arden 15 because I wanted um, a seed that's going to be a little bit more resistant to cold weather. So it's going to pretty much uh, go dormant later in the season and it's going to start coming up green earlier in the season. So um, sooner green up or earlier green up and a, a later into dormancy and it also provides a deeper green. So now it's been, again, it's been two weeks since I put the seed down and the soil temps in Georgia, I just checked this, checked before I, I got out here to, to film this for you guys. The soil temps today are uh, 73.8 degrees. I, I use a website that the University of Georgia puts out that uh, monitors soil temps. They have stations all over, the, all over the state of Georgia. So I use that to get the temperatures. So the temperatures have been where they need to be for the seed to germinate. Um, the, in ideal conditions, you know, um, Arden 15 wants um, between 65 degrees and higher, so it prefers hotter weather. And since we're in the 72, 73 degree area for soil temps, we're right where we need to be. Again, it's been two weeks, and overall, um, the recommendation is that it takes about uh, seven to ten days to begin germinating. Um, and again, what you're looking for is that is that darker color. So. Remember, this lawn has been overseeded a couple times with Princess 77, and now, well, now that I put the Arden 15 down, I'm hoping to get even uh, better coverage and a little bit deeper green. So you guys can see um, the lawn in comparison to other lawns in the, in the area um, that, you know, again, it's, just, it's we're not fully out of dormancy yet. You can see still this area here where there's, we're still, you know, the lawn is still recovering. But compared to other lawns, you can see that the, that the green in this is just, it's deeper. And again, the, the lawn is coming out of dormancy um, just sooner. We're in we're in early May, and the the you know the lawn is uh it's, it's greening up nicely. I'm really excited about how this season is going to come out. So that's that's probably the, the primary reasoning behind it. So as far as um, additional things I've put down to kind of help the seed um, germinate is I've uh, I put down a, a heavy application of melorganite. It's the organic fertilizer that I enjoy using. I like to use. If you're interested in seeing the process of how I did that, there's a card up here. Uh, that's going to describe um, how I put down the melorganite, um, how much I use to cover uh, my lawn size, and then just the results for that. I've got an entire sub-series where I talk about melorganite and, and, the, and the benefits of it, and then uh, provide an update of how it's progressing. But the biggest um, thing you guys are probably going to want to see is going to show the difference between Princess 77 or slash Arden 15, which is a great um, cultivar. You can only get it by a seed, and like a Tiffway 419 is this. So I'll bring you guys over here to this section. And what you're seeing here, literally, this is this, these two sods are exactly the same. They start out exactly the same. This is Tiffway 419, which you say, which you can see, it's you know early May, it's still coming out, and it's it's coming out really nicely, looking looking good. 
and this is Princess 77 slash um, Tiffway since uh, slash Arden 15. So it really shows the difference um, of what you're really getting when you buy that seed. I mean, the color is is a, it's a deeper green. We haven't really even again. It's, this is not even really a hundred, um, full full effect yet. It's probably going to be another, um, you know, I don't know, probably four weeks or so before um, the lawn really takes off. But you can see the difference just by comparing the two. Literally, this is the line of delineation between my neighbor and myself, and equivalent sod overseeded with um, Arden 15 slash Prince of 77 and then just um, for um, Bermuda Tifway 419 sod. So again you can kind of look up here at the front lawn as well and see the color and again that's still coming in there's still a few spots here where um, where the lawn hasn't fully come out of dormancy yet but again the color you can see where it's where, where we're going to end up you know it's it's a it's a it's a great 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 cultivar I really really like it probably the only downside to this seed is just the cost I mean you're you're looking at for a 25 pound bag which is what i put down um around a little over 400 dollars. so it's not inexpensive to apply but the results kind of speak for themselves and again the reason why i've done this will be my third application of this particular type of of seed is i'm trying to get it to really take over over the um you know the, the base um sod which is a which is a tiffway 419 i think it's it's that's we're having that effect you can see um overall how the lawn is, is coming in again it's not 100 percent there yet but it's definitely greener than others in the area and granted um, most of that is simply due to the fact that it's a different it's a different type of seed you know that it's just one that just, it just greens up sooner it's got better their drought tolerance you got to put less water on it like it is it is literally better in every way other than the other than the fact that you have to um you got to you got to buy it and then putting it down so what i did for this lawn again what you're seeing here this is 25 pounds of um of arden 15 seed i have a little over 11,000 square feet so that's a pretty heavy application um what they what they typically say is about a pound um or so per thousand square feet well, a pound or so so really that 25 pound bag i have really is designed to cover uh 25,000 square feet so i, I put it down about twice bag rate and uh you know you can kind of see the results i mean this is this is again uh, a little over two weeks since it was applied i'm going to give you guys another update another two weeks from now and then one more at the six week mark so this is the first updates of the of the seed being applied you can expect another update two weeks from now so make sure you you stay tuned make sure you guys um if you guys are enjoying this kind of content make sure you give me a like and consider subscribing i mean i put out lots of great content i try and put out videos that are are helpful uh, towards helping you guys reach your lawn care goals. So, you know, if you guys are enjoying this content, I really hope you guys will uh, will will trust me with your with your subscription. I promise I will not put out um, stuff that's not going to be useful for you guys. It's not going to help you reach your lawn goals. So, that's pretty much what I have for this update. Again, if you guys any have any questions, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what do you guys think. Do you guys think that Arden 15 as a seed is is worth it? I mean, again, four hundred dollars can go can be used for a lot of different things, but you know, for for putting it down for putting into grass seed, do you think that's that's a that's good as far as the the benefits that you get out of the lawn for for applying it? Uh, you know, definitely let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Also, uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about the process that I use for applying it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you in this video. If you want to see, if you're interested in that, the process that I use for putting down grass seed, you're going to have to check out uh, the cards or uh, also put a link in the description for you guys as well so you can see how that works. I'm interested to hearing what you guys think about that or if you have any other tips that are perhaps more effective. You know, because I'll probably do this again at some point, probably not this season, but, um, but next year. So, um, you know, if you guys have a better way of, of getting, of applying the seed, let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Give me a like. It really, really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to grow this channel. So, you know, if you guys can take just a few seconds just to go over there and smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.